What up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of AI Roundup. Just last week, I brought you a tier list of all the best AI image generators, and I hate to say it, but I already had to make an update with this video. The latest development is that Bing is dead. That's right. Last Thursday, ChatGPT rolled out its Dolly 3 integration for Plus and Enterprise subscribers, and this is a huge game changer in the world of AI image generators. To be fair, my tier list is still mostly intact, as I feel like Dolly 3 still reigns supreme, but if you're a ChatGPT subscriber, there is really no reason to use Bing anymore. For those folks looking to avoid spending any money on these technologies, then by all means, go back to Bing Image Creator. That's the only way you're going to use Dolly 3. But during this video, I will touch on some of the key differences between using Bing and ChatGPT to access Dolly 3. Okay, and on top of that, I just want to say that the title of this video is not clickbait. Right before I started recording, I literally did go and cancel my Mid Journey plan. So I've been a big fan of Mid Journey and I've used it for pretty much every episode of AI Roundup until now. But with Dolly 3 integrated into my ChatGPT Plus plan, I don't see the point of paying for both. So ChatGPT is only $20 a month and it does much more than just generate images. And the standard plan on Mid Journey is a whopping $30 a month. So bye. Okay, let's jump in and give it a whirl. So how do you use chat GBT with Dali? First, you just want to start a new chat. And I do have to point out, as I've already said before, you need to be a plus or inter uh, enterprise subscriber. Then you just go start a new chat and go to this drop down where you'll see Dolly three beta. It's that simple. And it is kind of a bummer that you can't combine using Dolly three with other plugins like web browsing or, you know, the whole marketplace of plugins that they have. So if you're trying to accomplish something where you need both, you're going to have to kind of jump between two different chat threads. And to try to give you an idea of all the capabilities of Dolly three and chat GBT, I'm just going to let this video from OpenAI play here where you can see the adventures of Larry, the super duper sunflower hedgehog. While I point out some of the key takeaways uh, from my experience using it, I think the very best thing about this integration is that it's like prompting on steroids. I mean, you can converse and brainstorm ideas with chat GBT and it will create robust descriptions and variations of your ideas and then bring them to life in about 30 seconds. Uh, from there, you can iterate on those ideas, the ones that you like. You can request changes to the ones you don't. You can get more variations. And then you can even continue to develop new ideas with the imagery that you've established, which is, for me, it's really cool to have this through line that when you're using something as simple as a prompter, there's no understanding, there's no memory. But this, it kind of, you know, it's not exactly memory, but it does maintain some consistency. Another big improvement in this experience for me is that the moderation is much more balanced and nuanced. ChatGPT has a much better grasp on context, so you can create many more images than Bing would allow me simply based on the prompt and the image itself. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I would see this busted ass dog <laughs> blocking my images on Bing Image Creator, sometimes very inconsistently, like where a prompt would work one time and then not the next time, and then sometimes never again, and, and there was no explanation. So. I can tell ChatGPT I want to make a humorous image and it lets my prompt go through because it understands that I want to make a joke and not simply spread disinformation. I really think the most impressive standout is that while Dolly 3, like Mid Journey, has really gotten a handle on the hands and the faces problems, they have also made huge strides in what's possible with text. I can't believe how accurately it can generate images that include text and it definitely has its limits because you can see here when I just did AI Roundup, we got some pretty nice stuff. If you go up a little bit to where I was trying to get it to generate like a social media post for this episode, uh, it definitely gets a little garbled. But you can really go for like a single phrase or like a title and a subtitle or even a little bit of dialogue from a character. And I'd say 75% of the time you get something that's totally usable. Uh, and if you have a little skills with Photoshop, you can even use the worst ones and doctor them up, fix them so that, you know, they look like you would want them to. So it saves you a ton of time and it skips right over the blank page part of the process. Okay, so for my use case for this, I'm not sure if any of you noticed, I snuck in a couple of uh, memes, we'll call them, of this phrase, sweet meat in an eight teriyaki. Shout out to my buddy Jimmy for coming up 
uh, with that phrase that just gets stuck in my head. But I tried this phrase out with ChatGPT to see how far I could take it. <laughs> and I was really impressed that not only it didn't block my prompt as Bing often did, but it helped me generate an entire social media campaign for this phrase. We got a whole series of products, t-shirts, uh, you know, images that we can share to help tell the story of Sweet Me and an Ain't Teriyaki. And this went on for quite a while until we actually reached the point where we were getting some prompts for a new product that was a competitor to Sweet Meat and an Ain't Teriyaki called It's Beer Ann. Let's see if we can skip ahead a little bit here. And yeah, here it is. It's Beer Ann, and I believe this is a uh, health sauce. I've been having a ton of fun with Dolly3 and ChatGPT, but it's also been a huge improvement to my workflow as I'm coming up with episodes. I've been able to brainstorm promotional images for social media. I can do storyboards. I can generate assets for thumbnails and on-screen graphics. So this, this is a huge step up in capabilities uh, for both large language models and generating images. It's really a night and day difference being able to converse with the chatbot and let it do so much of the prompting for you. Okay, so we've actually already been talking about this in the MMM Discord. So if you're using Dolly3 with ChatGPT, please jump in the AI Roundup channel and show us what you've been making. I'd love to get a, a gander at it. And that's our AI Roundup for today. In case you've been wondering what the coughing in the background or the, the maybe the little iPad sounds that you're hearing, uh, my daughter is homesick today. So she's here with me as I'm recording this. Would you like to come say hello? Hi. Hi, everyone. All right, buddy, thanks. Uh, otherwise, be sure to follow us on social media at MSP Media TV. Email us news at MSP Media TV or call 833 or call 833 MSP Network. <laughs> I'm Phil Buck. This has been your October 25th episode of AI Roundup. I'll see you with another video on Friday.